It's a tradition unlike any other. The State Chamber's Washington, D.C. fly-in. Each fall, Oklahoma's leading voice for business organizes a trip for its members to our nation's capital to get an inside look at what's happening inside the Beltway, but also bring issues from home to Capitol Hill. Well, I think the real important part of what, why we're here is, one, make sure our delegation hears from Oklahoma businesses, right? They, we do a lot of that when we're back in the state. I think it's unique to be up here in D.C. and then have those conversations. But the other thing is, is really for our business community hear from uh, leaders up in D.C. and from around the country. We bring in speakers on the economy or world affairs or politics so that it improves their view of kind of what's going on in the world, what's going on in politics, what's going on in Congress. And so it's kind of a mutual exchange of good information. So it's really important to have that perspective as we go back and make policy decisions for Oklahoma. In 2023, the Willard Hotel played host to the fly-in delegation. Built in 1847, the historic property didn't disappoint. As members started off with a kickoff reception sponsored by Trinity Industries Sunday night as they arrived. Oh man, it's really great. It's um, really uh, an enjoyable thing to get to meet other businesses in the state, other people who are wanting the same thing, which is employ people and, and succeed and um, enjoying it, having a good time. IBC Bank issue panels kicked off bright and early Monday morning. Experts on national defense, political races, and the state of the U.S. economy were on center stage. I was particularly intrigued by the idea of the abundance agenda for the economy. Uh, every state's struggling right now, whether it comes to jobs, workforce, housing supply. And so uh, the economists that we heard from really talked about the idea that uh, we want to increase supply on, across all sectors and that will help drive the economy. So I thought that was fascinating. Breakout lunches on AI, sponsored by HF Sinclair and national immigration reform, brought to us by IBC Bank Entertain and inform. Then it was off to Virginia for a special treat. The original Commander-in-Chief greeted members as George Washington's Mount Vernon hosted the traditional DC fly-in special dinner. American Fidelity sponsoring a tour of the historic home and grounds and the founding father addressing his fellow Americans at dinner. I would say it's been critical to my success. That so was a fun dinner with a lot of Oklahomans. 100 people at uh, Mount Vernon uh, special guest George Washington. I mean, how many times do you get a chance to have the former president just stop by and say hello, I guess. But no, it was a great gathering just to be able to just visit and to be able to talk and to be able to talk about all the issues in a more informal setting. On Tuesday, it was a trip down Pennsylvania Avenue to Capitol Hill. The Oklahoma Association of Realtors sponsoring the congressional briefings with Oklahoma's federal delegation at the podium. Chamber members getting direct access to senators and U.S. representatives in the midst of session. So this is the backbone of our economy, right? This is this is our state chamber, and uh, state chamber it, it, it represents so many businesses across the state. Uh, Seventy percent of our economy is small business hey, owners, you, right? Thanks so here. it's important that we're here meeting with them because they're employing our constituents. Really good to hear about policies and uh, get to rub shoulders with them and uh, find out the things that are impacting us at the state level. Finally, after a full day of federal news, the D.C. fly-in gang rolled into Union Station for the Chickasaw Nation Oklahoma reception. The red carpet rolled out at a gorgeous venue, a chance for members and officials to really connect. So these are all the great folks that we work with back at home in Oklahoma, but it's a good opportunity for us to be here in our nation's capital, to be having the discussions and seeing how the issues that we're working on in Oklahoma fit into the bigger fabric of things that are going on here in D.C. Also, it's just a great opportunity to continue to build those relationships. That's, that's one of the biggest things that I, I get out of my time here and um, apply that back in the state. It's uh, experiences like this at the State Chamber Fly-In where we find that we're all working on similar things and how we can collaborate a little better and, and work more efficiently. It's cool because you realize that some things you're maybe initially polarized on, uh, you find unity and uh, some cohesion there. And regardless of your industry being healthcare, energy, or construction, uh, we have a lot in common that we need that is common threads. We'd like to thank our gold level sponsors, Hillcrest Healthcare Systems and Spur Design, and all our generous companies that made the 2023 fly-in so successful and memorable. Don't miss your chance next fall to join in the experience.